Moving out of range. Oh, a big shot that drops. Hey, fight fans. We've rounded up 13 of the most intense boxing and kickboxing knockouts. Oh, from powerful punches to lightning fast kicks, these knockouts will leave you on the edge of your seat. So grab some popcorn and get ready for a wild ride through the world of combat sports. Naoya, known as the Monster, lived up to his reputation when he faced Juan Payano for the bantamweight title. Just 70 seconds into the first round, Naoya unleashed a mighty right hand that sent Payona flat on his back. Was all she wrote. Are we going to see it? it? Make it a rhetorical question. That's fine, Joe. All right. Kolibali squared off against Nordin, who kicked off the first round with relentless pressure. Yeah, nice angling. Good combination. Level change for Mahadeen. Oh, big uppercut. The exchange intensified in the second round. A lot of fights. There's a nice flurry. Sliding out. Look at this. Oh, caught it with the overhand right. Despite a fierce battle, the Algerian had the last word. Alex Pereira locked horns with Jason Wilness, who weathered a storm of kicks, knees, and punches early on. Pereira, relentless as a charging bull, kept pushing the pace. Ended up getting him that TKO finish. Oh, high kick! Wow! And ended Wilness' night with a devastating flying knee. Power that Pereira had. And now Pereira go for the finish! Oh! What a leaping knee! Oh, just nasty. Manuel Char clashed with Alexander Povakin in the WBC heavyweight showdown, who burst onto his opponent like a blazing inferno. <laughs> Round two saw Char showboating, flexing, and taunting Povakin to bring it on. As the bout continued, Povakin's assault grew fiercer each passing minute. And in the seventh round, Char faced the inevitable consequences of his boldness as Povakin delivered the knockout blow he had dared to call. <laughs> Gabriel Rosado stepped into the ring against the undefeated Bektemir Melikusev in a super middleweight showdown. Melikusev came out swinging, putting Rosado down with a hard combination. The Uzbek continued his onslaught. Then, out of nowhere, Risotto caught him with a big right hand, sending him face first to the canvas. Semi Shield faced the bad boy of kickboxing, Badr Hari, who opened the fight like a house of fire. But with all that adrenaline pumping like crazy, he forgot who he was up against. Hari got up, but was forced to bow to the king with a head kick. Hari was resilient, but not tough enough to take Schultz's left hook and continue fighting. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Benjamin Adabui squared off against Jafar Wilness at Glory 62 in Rotterdam. Both fighters stormed into the ring with guns blazing. Oh, that oh, that that for Willis. In the second round, Adagbui turned up the heat, landing a thunderous uppercut that seemed to shake Wilness to his core. Bowie, who's in front of Wilness and lands an uppercut. Oh, oh. High kick. Oh. But perhaps not as much as a massive high kick that had Wilness falling face first into the ropes.
Super Bond faced Typhoon Oscar, who stormed in like a raging tempest. But Super Bond swiftly struck with thunderous high kicks, halting Oskin's momentum. In the second round, Oskin charged forward, only to be caught off guard by an unexpected high kick. Alistair Overeem faced Caillou Cushion legend Uerton Taishira. The Brazilian started the fight with a low kick before adding a few more to tenderize the Reem's beef shank. Moments later, Overeem stuffed Taishira with a hellish knee to the face, sending him on a one-way trip to the Shadow Realm. Arthur Abraham took on Jermaine Taylor, who came out strong, taking the lead on points in the first four rounds. With that in mind by Taylor, another one. But Abraham turned the tide in the second half, landing punishing shots. Hard to get through that dark oh, in the ninth round, Abraham landed a blistering right hand that rocked Taylor. Oh, what a right hand. Then, in the final moments, he delivered a devastating straight right, knocking Taylor out cold. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and smash that notifications button. We'll see you in the next one.